I finally finished my own website where I am selling my courses. This is why in this video I want to share with you why I migrated from Teachable and implemented my own website, what technologies I used there and why. So this is how my website is looking now. As you can see this is a home page where we have some information and my popular series. Now we can jump inside courses and see the list of possible courses to buy. The main point is that I didn't program this project from the start, I used a web service which is called Teachable. And if you don't know, Teachable is the most popular platform to create and sell courses. And a lot of people are using this platform to sell their courses, and it is all fine until you are looking on the pricing. As you can see here inside pricing, when you are hitting monthly, you see some tiers here. And if you want to have your own custom domain, you must pay at least $39 per month. And this is actually not bad, because you are getting a website out of the box, you don't need to do anything, you simply upload there your courses, and you are good to go. But also, as you can see in pricing, here is an important mentioning, you must pay 5% for the transaction, which means on one selling of the course, I must pay 5% also. And I successfully used Teachable more than a year, and this is really nice, because you don't care about code, about supporting your project, because you are getting it out of the box, and if it doesn't work, you should not fix it, the guys there will fix it. The question is why I migrated to my own solution, and what technologies I used. And first of all is of course the price. When you multiply it by 12, then you are getting almost $500 per year. Also, you must pay for transactions. And actually, if you implement your own solution, normally it will be cheaper. But of course, you must support it on your own. If your website is broken, then you must fix it. If you didn't implement something or your comments are not working, you must fix it. The other problem that I didn't like regarding Teachable, it is one solution for everybody, which means it's not customized for me. For example, they have custom templates to create pages, and this is really nice for everybody, but not nice because you need to write these blogs again and again for each new post or each new course. Also, you are getting much more control of the project when you implement it on your own, because you implement specifically what you need to. And also the important here, if you want to jump in Teachable to the next tier, you must pay $119. And actually this price was much less, but they increased it really significantly. Which means you can't be sure that the price won't be increased, and it might be that you need some features from the next tier. And in this case you must pay more. So let's look on the website that I implemented and what technologies I used here. And you probably think, ok, he used for sure some new hype technologies, and it is totally wrong. I didn't even bother here with using some frontend framework, like Angular or React, and I didn't implement it in Node.js. What I used here is Ruby with Ruby on Rails. Why is that? Because this is my favorite language and the framework. This is simply because with Ruby on Rails I am getting so much features out of the box and I don't need to implement it on my own. For example, things like working with database, authentication, emails, ORM and much much more are just coming out of the box. This is exactly why I implemented this project so fast. One more important point why I choose Rails is because it is much easier to implement the project just by using backend, because with backend you simply render a page and you have a full page reload when you have a new page. When you are building a single page application, you have much more. You must implement API, you must fetch your data, you must build your frontend, you have frontend state and you need to manage it across pages, so you need to remember when to clean the state and so on and so on. With backend you don't need anything. With every click your page is fully reloaded, which means you don't have an old state, you simply generate new state, new index.html page and you render this page, so you are good to go. And obviously it depends on your project, but I highly recommend you to always implement your project just with backend if it is possible, because single page applications are really nice for huge business applications, where you have a lot of mutations on the frontend, but not every project need them. So actually here all pages are simply rendered with Rails, and I use just a little bit of JavaScript to implement comments and HTML5 player. So the full list of technologies that I am using here is first of all Ruby on Rails, secondly Stripe for payments, Mailgun for sending emails because I don't want to do it on my own, and of course Docker to pack everything inside container. 
and I wrote zero CSS for this website just because I used here Tailwind CSS. And now the most important question, how long did it take to implement it? And actually I did it in the evening, normally 1 or 2 hours per day. And it took near 2 weeks to implement the whole business logic of the project without any markup or CSS. After this it took 2 more weeks to implement markup with Tailwind CSS and also at the end I spent 1 week for deployment and fixing all possible bugs. And here I want to compare how much time it would take for me if I didn't took Ruby on Rails but maybe Node with Express. And I think it would take probably 2 or 3 months just because I need to implement all these features on my own. And yes, sure, there are some popular packages inside Node.js for common things, like for example Passport.js for authentication, but actually they are really low level. In Ruby on Rails I spend like 15 minutes to get full authentication out of the box with registration, login and recovering passwords and email confirmations. The main point is that all these templates and forms I got just from this package. In Passport.js you must implement all markup and all handlers on your own. This is why I highly recommend you to always take frameworks where you get a lot of features out of the box and you should not implement them on your own. Now let's compare my costs of my custom website versus Teachable. As I said in Teachable I pay $39 per month plus 5% for every transaction. Now for my custom website first of all I pay for hosting $2, secondly for CDN on average $5 per month and I also use a free tier of Mailgun to send emails, so for now it is free and also I'm using Stripe as a payment system and I'm paying 1% of every transaction. So here is my conclusion of this story. First of all, it is always cheaper to implement something on your own, but you must have enough experience to do that and you must support it on your own. And secondly, always when possible, I will prefer a paid solution just because I don't need to fix on my weekends. And also, if you are interested how I built the same project in all frontend frameworks and what were the benefits, make sure to check this video.